So two other things happen when people are hypnotized. One is that that DLPFC has higher functional connectivity with the insula. Another part of the salience network, it's a part of the mind-body control system, sensitive to what's happening in the body. It's part of the pain network as well. But it's also a region of the brain where you can control things in your body that you wouldn't think you could. For example, we did a study years ago where we took people uh, who were highly hypnotizable, hypnotized them, and told them to imagine, we went on an imaginary culinary tour. So um, we would, they would eat their favorite foods, and we found that they increased their gastric acid secretion like by 87%. So their stomach was acting as though it was about to get... I mean, there was one woman, it was so vivid for her that halfway through she said, let's stop, I'm full. Oh, incredible. And then we got them to relax and think of anything but food or drink, and we got like a 40% decrease in gastric acid secretion. So they could, and that was DLPFC through the insula telling the stomach, you're getting food or you're not getting food. And even we injected them with pentagastrin, which triggers gastric acid release. And even then in the hypnosis condition, they had a 19% reduction in gastric acid.